it is okay to steal ideas. In fact, most ideas are stolen ideas. This isn't anything new, many people know this, but I applied it to my game making project. I've set a challenge to make 30 videos documenting making a game from complete scratch, no prior experience. And my idea for a game is original, but it's composed of multiple stolen ideas. And here's what I came up with. My game is going to be a 2D action platformer, and I want to implement multiple mechanics from games I love across multiple different genres. I already mentioned that I want to make the game feel fluid in combat similar to Smash Bros. Melee. An example of a game that does this pretty well is Rivals of Aether. Although I might cater towards a controller first, I think it's important to think of a mouse and keyboard control scheme as well, but it needs to be viable and fun. I'll have to think about this later. Another idea I want to pull from is Bayonetta and Devil May Cry. Both of these games share a similar combat style where you can juggle enemies in the air and have these super flashy combos. I think this would be really fun to bring into the 2D space. Maybe not crazy hard to memorize combos like Tekken, but something simple and satisfying. The third idea I want to implement is actually from Yakuza. I love the idea of switching forms with the flow of combat. Yakuza has four different fighting styles ranging from quick blows and heavy slow ones. I think Bloodborne toys with this idea well too, where every weapon is actually two weapons. If I can implement this and make it easy to translate, then I think combat will be extremely unique and complex. I mentioned complexity, but I also have to consider players of all skill levels too, so it needs to be accessible. If someone likes one certain fighting style, I don't want to discourage just using that one. One final idea I had may or may not implement is something similar to RCs in Guilty Gear. Specifically a red RC, or like a Witch Time in Bayonetta. Something that can extend a combo. Those are pretty much all the mechanics I want to add though. This leads me to the theme of my game. This is the part I'm pretty excited about, but I may need external help to get the full vision down eventually. While I have never read it, and I never plan to, since it's like the size of an ancient spell tome, I wanted to visit the world of Dante's Inferno. To be open and completely honest, I don't even know how the story goes in this poem. I just like the idea of descending into the depths of hell with the nine rings of hell, you know, each one being different and more treacherous than the last. I want the player to experience diving into the depths of hell and killing demons. Uh, also probably like biblically accurate demons, kind of how like Bayonetta does with the idea of Paradiso and stuff like that. Not an entirely unique idea, but a cool theme nonetheless. The level design will also reflect this. There will always be the feeling that you're descending, whether that's simply just making the map go downwards, or an animation at the end of the level showing you descending like a Terraria Elevator or something. Now as you can see, this game has become an amalgamation of different games, and that is what works right now in the game industry. Think about all your favorite games and compare them to other games you've played. An exercise could be to say, a game is like X, but it does Y instead, like Fortnite is just PUBG with building. There's plenty of original games that have borrowed ideas from other successful ones. And if you think you have a game idea that you think would be really cool to do, why not just do it? Start small, work on it 30 to 60 minutes a day, and at the end of it, over a long period of time, you'll have something to actually be proud of. I think many people get a million dollar idea and they just sit on it, fearful that if they tell someone their idea, they'll just take it. Do not do this. Just make it happen one way or another. And if you're not going to make it happen, give the idea to someone else. Make a tweet or a video about it. Please throw out the idea of saying, oh, well, if I'm not going to do it, then I'm going to sell my idea. This is a really old way of thinking, and people are not buying ideas because they're stealing their own and making them into original ones. Anyways, that got a little off topic and a little intense, but thank you for listening to my TED Talk. We're going to get actual development underway really soon in the next couple of videos, but I wanted to lay out my full idea so you guys can see the vision. Again, this video is a part of a 30 video series where I make a game from scratch. 
where the caveat used to be that I was going to make each video one minute longer than the last, but I've decided to scrap that idea and just kind of make videos however long I want to, since this is, you know, just a passion project after all. If you want to see the last video, I'll put it up on screen right now. And with all that said, thanks for watching, sub, and I'll see you next time.